rounding corners. Um, and the later versions now of Illustrator, when you create a shape, you get these little widgets that you can drag on and it will create a radius based on where you pull. And alternatively, you can use the direct select tool, select individual nodes and round them you know, to whatever uh, value that you see. And you can notice here also, you know, 1.25 inches is the radius of that. Now, it didn't always used to be that way. Um, and there's a couple ways that you could do it. So if we draw another square here, and I'll duplicate this one for the next example. You could go to Effect, Stylize, and then Round Corners. And if you turn on Preview, 0.25, that's the same value as that one you end up with, well, roughly the same thing. Now there's a problem here though, because when I mouse over, you notice the shape extends all the way to the end. And if we go to the wireframe with Control Y, you'll notice that it's also still a square. So you would have to object expand appearance to get that down to an actual shape. Now, what I used to do is I'd take a circle and using shift we'll drag it out to whatever radius that we want you know we, f we find that that curve in the top right that we like then grab the box behind it and I'm going to create a couple extra points on it with the pen tool now if we look at the circle we'll notice that it has a point here and a point here and what I want to do is take these points and move them to be perfectly in line with those. Now I can take this one and drag it anywhere inside the circle, take the two, and then use the Pathfinder Unite to turn it into a single shape. So there you go, a couple different methods.